Good morning. We're learning a little bit more about the building that where the fire originally started. You're looking live at it. It is that red building on top. Commercial uh, on the bottom, apartments on top, and neighbors now tell us that building was empty and they've been worried about a fire starting there because they say some people had broken in and weren't living there. Take a look. Around 2 o'clock this morning, this fire started here on 7th and Parkview. This is right across the street from MacArthur Park, and that building was just raging. Firefighters arrived, and the concern was it is built right up against a four-story apartment building on one side and a church on the other side. So they immediately evacuated that apartment building and put firefighters all around these buildings. Now, the building where the fire started does appear to be a total loss. There may be some damage to the church. As for the apartment building, it appears to only have smoke damage. We talked to one of the residents who says he awoke to the fire. And while well, you can imagine those tense moments as he uh, tried to gather his animals. It was scary as hell, and they, you don't really notice until you smell it, and you can't see out your windows, and then you start to see the flames where they start laughing up, and it doesn't, it doesn't feel like you're safe. I don't know. And the but, first thing you did was rescue your... You've got one cat in yeah. here, you've got another one in uh, here? A bunny and then another buddy. Aww. That's certainly some tense moments for those people. Some of them were unable to gather their animals, but thankfully we're told there is no fire damage to the apartment building. And those people were interviewed by arson investigators with LA City Fire who are here on the scene trying to determine how the fire started. What they told me is that they've been trying to reach the building's owner when they saw that people were living inside. They were extremely concerned, and one resident added he feels the city has let them down. Reporting live, I'm Gigi Graciette. Back to you. All right, Gigi, thank you.